Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In this video, I will be showing you how to create this menu layout from the grill template in GP's site library. So it looks like this on desktop. And the layout is like this in the mobile mode. Let's get right to it. The first thing we're going to do is to set GP's content container for this page to be full width. Then we can add our first container block. Outer container will be full width, inner container will be contained a thousand pixel in width. And we are going to add 60 pixel of top padding and zero everywhere else. Inside the container, we can now add our first grid block. I will choose 50 50 to start with, and then I will choose the first container set it to 75%. Then I will choose the second container and set it to 25%. I will select the first container again and add a background image. Since it's a background image, the size will be determined by the top and bottom padding. So let's go with 90 and 90 pixel each. Inside the second container, we will add a headline block. And we will use H3 here. We will set 10 and 10 pixel for top and bottom padding and left and right 50 pixel each. We will center a line, our headline and change some color. Now let's go ahead and select the grid wrapper again. We will set the horizontal gap, which is this gap here, to zero. Then we'll select the vertical alignment to center. Then let's select the container, which holds the headline block. Go to spacing and add negative 50 pixel of left margin in order to create this overlap effect. As you can see, we are basically ready for the desktop view. Now let's tweak it for the mobile view. Let's select the first container that has the background image in it and I want to reduce the image size by reducing the top and bottom padding. Next we will select the container which holds the headline block. We will remove the negative left margin and add negative 25 pixel of top margin to it. Let's select the headline block next. Go to spacing 
and turn on inline width. In order to center a headline block when inline width is activated, we will need to go back to the container block and center align the entire container itself. I also would like to reduce the font size a bit in the mobile view. Let's go with 25 pixel. Now let's publish the page and take a look. You can see that this is not center of the image and let's see what we can do to fix it. Check the spacing of the headline block. The issue is likely coming from the default 50 pixel margin added. Let's take another look. So now we're good. Next, we will create the actual menu section. Let's start by adding another container block. For this container block, we will go with 20 pixel of padding all around. Inside the container block, we will again add a grid wrapper. Let's go with this one. So again, we will select the first container inside the grid. I want to actually use 80%. And then the second container, we will go with 20%. So they stay in one line. Inside the bigger container, we will add a headline block and use paragraph. Add in our content and set the margin bottom to zero. Inside the smaller container block, we will add a headline block. Again, we will use a paragraph and the price of the dish. Set the font to bigger, like 23. Then go to spacing. We will add 12 pixel of padding all around. Margin bottom set to zero. And border size of two pixel all around. We will turn on inline width, so the square. Go to colors, background color, I will use black here, text color, white. Now let's select the container block, which holds the price and text align to the right. So the next thing we need to do is select the grid which holds the items. Vertical alignment center again. 
Now that looks good. Let's tweak the layout for the mobile view. I will select the container first to activate the menu section. Select the container again for the menu. And instead of the default 100, I will use the same as desktop 80%. Select the second container that holds the price. Again, 20%. Now let's reduce the space here to bring the price off the edge of the screen. So we will select the grid wrapper and reduce the horizontal gap. Let's go with 10 pixel. Head back to the desktop and now select our first container. Click plus to duplicate the item. Select the price container. Do the same thing. And we do it again. Now let's give this last item a slightly different style. Now we will give some more space between each item by again selecting the grid wrapper and increase the vertical gap. I think that looks good. So next, I just wanna quickly show you how to create this section in reverse style quickly. First, we will select this container. Then we will duplicate it. Let's move it to the bottom so we don't get ourselves confused. Now Let's select the container that holds the background image and move it down. So we are in the order that we wanted already. For this headline, for this container, we want to remove the negative left margin. And this time, we actually want to add the margin to the container with the background image. You can see that the headline is supposed to be on top of the image. And we can do that by setting the outer Z index of the container which hold the headline to a higher value, like 99. There, we just switch the position and it's pretty easy to do. Let's take another look for the mobile view. So this is the first one and it looks good. But now, because the headline is before the image, so it will show up on top. And let's see how we can change that. We'll select the container which holds a headline, 
set the order to two. And there it is. We get the same layout on mobile, which is what we want. Let's update and take a look at the result. And lastly, I just want to show the cool effects option that will be in General Blocks Pro. So we will select this top container, go to the effect panel, we will turn on transition, we will just use the default setting, turn on transforms, Add a transform. Let's do translate. We will use it on hover. Target, we will use custom and target the headline here. Translate X, we will go negative 20 pixel. So what this means is that when I hover in inside this main container, some effects should happen for the headline block. Let's take a look. Let's update the page and take a look in our life site. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.